Hey everybody, Papa Gord here, and uh, yeah, as as you can see, I'll, I'll take you guys on a bit of a tour down here. So if you haven't been following, wow, it's actually kind of echoey down here right now. So um, I had mentioned on, I think, the last live stream that we had a bit of a water leak, unfortunately, on the main floor that ran through the ceiling up above my brain right here, uh, which is finished. So we had to have it cut open and made sure it was dry. So we weren't going to get any mold in the house or whatever. So we decided, well, we've come this far. We hate the color. We've never liked the color down here, but because oh, just so much of this is the, the here, part of me is going to go away, but you can see like the doors are painted multicolors and down here in the baseboards, you know, here, I'll just give you guys a, I can't even see what I'm showing you. So hopefully you see, but, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just a, a giant hot mess down here right now. Um, the, uh, over here into this corner where you can see a bit of the Lego, this is kind of Carter's space right now. And that's not going to be for much longer. Uh, we're actually going to, that's going to be not just my convention corner, um, it's gonna be my collection corner. So we're gonna be doing either some built-ins or something like that. That's where I'm gonna be filming my videos from the foreseeable future. We're gonna move the desk over so when I live stream, same thing, it'll be into that whole area and then he's, Carter's just gonna have to suck it up. So, um, but yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. Uh, I, I was gonna maybe, because I got some free time on my hands. I know I said I'm stepping away, and, and I am, but I, uh, you know what? I, I had some time today, but I don't have any figures to review or to give my thoughts on. I would have done the Hoth, uh, the Rebel Hoth Trooper, because I've had one for a, while, a little while now, and then I finally got my second one in um, from Uncle Mike. So I could have shown those off. I could have done the heavy man, but they're all boxed up back in their boxes. It's killing me not to see them or even have one in hand. The only ones I have that are available for me to get are the um, first order TIE fighter that has the pilot and the other first order TIE pilot. So I've got the one that came with the TIE fighter and then the individually boxed one as the gunner. Uh, so they're the only ones that I can get my hands on because I don't have the box for the TIE Fighter anymore and it's just a pain in the ass to take it apart. So uh, I happen to, uh, well here, I'll show you. There's some some Star Wars. So I uh, I picked up myself a uh, a, a new a Star Wars a t-shirt. So that is cool. It's not black, which is all right. Uh, so I just got that today. And then, thank you to a lot of uh, a lot of the local collectors. Um, so a couple of guys dropped uh, dropped a few um, pictures on Facebook on Tuesday, Wednesday, in around there, saying, "Hey, GI Joe has come to Canada, and get to your WalMarts if you think you've got even a shot at getting any of them." I said I'm, I, I wanted Snake Eyes. I'm kicking myself for not getting that deluxe one. So luckily, oh yeah, I, I got a Snake Eyes. He's, he's good. Um, a couple of grapes, but uh, yeah, not bad. And then the only other one that I said, yeah, okay, sure, is, uh, is Destro. Uh, the Pimp Daddy himself, which is very funny considering the, 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 the alternate version of him that's been announced for Wave 2, uh, that is fantastic. So, yeah, so those are what I picked up. So we got um, Mr. Eyes here. And it really, that's about the only main difference. I don't have a, one to compare to, but uh, he's all black. He doesn't have the silver visor. So I may, I may paint that. I like the look of the silver. It helps break up all of this but um you know it's they're they're interesting i love all the butterfly joints that so far 
they all have uh, the futuristic weapons are a, a little weird. Like I get it, I don't get the Uzis and stuff. That's that's fine, but I don't. What's the deal with the holes in the? That just seems strange to me. Um, like even the pistol, which has a silencer right here, but why is there a hole? Like okay, there's the, for the finger, but that I don't. Yeah, I don't know. So and there's no triggers. Like there's not a, there's no trigger on this. That at least has the, the slot for the trigger finger to go. Uh, I like the free floating pieces where it's not attached to the belt that'll hinder the articulation. I do like that. Now, this side here, and so it's black, so uh, the knife that comes with this guy uh, is too long. Yeah, so I'm gonna, have to sh I'm gonna have to shave some of the tip off or so I have to work out something, but yeah, you get this little thing here, and it's too, it's, it doesn't fit, it sticks out. And then there's this bandolier, and I think Foosh might have brought this up when he was looking at this, but if you put, have the bandolier on, and then plug the backpack through the bandolier into here, it, nothing sits right, the backpack looks really odd, so I, I'm not leaving that bandolier on. I do, dig the backpack maybe if i keep them backpackless i don't know but i mean so far like that's the only thing that's got a whole, so i can't see would you honestly put your futuristic laser gun and stick it on your sword i don't know but um yeah it's just a lot of black you get a little bit of red with you know with the little logos going on 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 there but yeah, it's it, you know you know what it's 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 cool. I got the one or two. I mean, again, Cobra is the villain figures are always more interesting in my eyes. So I I see I saw the releases today. Um, a Storm Shadow variant or whatever. Uh, I might I might have to get a couple. The Cobra Commander. Uh, you know we'll see we'll see. I'm not a huge fan of the line yet so far. They really haven't just kind of blown me out of the water. It's nice to see them in a six inch scale, but again it doesn't give me all the feels uh, of being a kid. Whereas like the Black Series with Star Wars, I I kind of get more feels that way. This this is this is this is fine. So. So yeah, he's he's pretty all right, and then uh, Destro here. Destro is actually pretty pretty cool. Yeah, but it's kind of the same thing. Here's his futuristic laser weapon thing. No 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 trigger, no trigger finger guard, no nothing. And then if you take his uh, sidearm here, um, that actually ha looks like it's got a spot there. So that what it's, it's so it's it's weird. It's it's just things and. Why does he have a gold pistol? And I don't know. But same thing, he he does give me some feels to uh, Destro. Um, you know, his little, the arrows on his gauntlet there. I don't know, this gun, I almost think the Purge Trooper maybe should have that or something. But the detail's nice, the black, the red. Uh, you get, you're rocking his, uh, his attache case. That's got some money and a computer. Uh, so you can, there you go, you got Black Cobra there, you got uh, the red logo there. Um, now, I did some trimming on this. How I said with uh, Snake Eyes, how it's nice that he's got all these free-floating pieces, a couple bag, like pocket things on his arms. He's got his holster for his uh, gun and uh, the silencer and then his knife uh, sheath thing. I get that. But there's nothing that holds the belt to any of that stuff. And Destro, on the other hand, he had a little stupid red piece of plastic, rubberized plastic that ran from the belt down to the holster. So I took a pair of scissors and snipped, slid this piece off, took an X-Acto knife and shaved it down and shaved it down on the belt. And now it doesn't interfere with anything and it, I think it looks good. It fits nice and tight on his thigh. Worst case, I could glue it in place. I'm 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 okay with that. This isn't my Star Wars collection, so I'm not like oh, oh, oh I can't mess around with that. This is I you know what this was just something I wanted to see, and uh, yeah. So the two I have are great. 
There's not that really ridiculous amount of gold coloring that uh, the Joes all have, which I'm still having a hard time trying to look past, but um, I, I think I will definitely jump on some more of the, uh, some more Cobra figures um, for sure. So anyways, guys, that's, that's gonna do it for me. Just, you know, something out there. We hit 600 subscribers, so uh, that is absolutely awesome. Um, I have to thank Usual Mike Television, uh, probably for the, the boost. Um, he finally got his, uh, the thing that he won off of my channel way back. It took multiple weeks to make it down under, but it finally arrived. So uh, he, if you haven't seen that video, that's one of his more recent ones, just in the last day, I think. So uh, check it out. So of course he puts my name up there. So I think that's where some of the subs have come from. Also, I am getting a new intro and some new graphic designs uh, from a, a, a local guy. So um, I've seen some sketches so far. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about the new caricature, uh, the new cartoony version of myself. Uh, so look forward to that coming at some point in time. I'll have to see if I can dig something out um, just uh, once it's all tied together. So I will be putting his information down in the comment section, the about section, just in case, you know, you, you like his work and you maybe you want to throw him some business or something like that. So that is awesome. Uh, anyways, guys, so you're not going to see any of the fancy stuff with this. No music, no intro, no outs. Uh, I'm just straight to YouTube. We'll upload it and Bob's your uncle. Maybe he is. I don't know. Maybe it's Stanley. Could be a Steve. Maybe. But anyways, comment, share, like, subscribe. All that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. We'll see you guys again real soon. I miss you guys already. Later, eh?